Everybody, it's 8-Bit Eric with OriginalGamer.com, and I'm here with the Texas Ghostbusters. They have a panel here, all sorts of knickknacks, proton packs, sweet outfits. They got their own Ecto car back here. I was going to talk to y'all um, exactly well, you know, uh, where can people check y'all out? Do you have a website or anything? Yes, we have uh, web websites on Facebook, so you can look, at, look up DFW Ghostbusters or Houston Ghostbusters on Facebook. And like us and like them. Make sure because these guys have got the coolest stuff here. Coolest Ghostbuster stuff. Hey, we even got a mini Ghostbuster right here with his own proton pack. I think he's looking for ghosts and you know, ghosts are gonna be scared of him. And uh, could you tell us a little bit of what, about what y'all do? I mean, like, do y'all make appearances at places other than conventions? Do y'all do birthday parties? <laughs> no more birthday parties after that He-Man incident. Oh, after the He-Man. You know, surprisingly, I don't see any He-Man here. Mm -mm, that is surprising. But I see the Ghostbusters, yeah, which is... we lasted a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. they outlasted and they got re-released in theaters. I don't see no Master of the Universe in theaters. Anyways, guys, can y'all tell a little bit about y'all's Ecto-1 or any of the equipment y'all have? Well, basically, this is a Chev Chevrolet HHR that we converted into an ecto mobile and we put the, uh, the roof rack and the lights and everything onto it. Make it look as close, you know, to you know an ecto busting car as we could, and it's it's more fuel efficient than a Cadillac. So, <laughs> yes. cool. Does, every, does everything work on it, like the lights and everything? Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, the lights do light up and everything. We just don't have it plugged in right now. Oh yeah. Uh, Do y'all get any honks on the road when y'all driving by? Did y'all drive it in here? All the time. Yeah, he drove it up in here and. Uh, he gets he gets pic people taking pictures all the time while he's driving down the road. <laughs> cool man. Um, so what inspired y'all to actually start the Texas Ghostbusters? Well, uh, what inspired me to do it was just basically my love of Ghostbusters uh, all my life. Watched the cartoons, the movies, got the toys and all that. And in 2006, I decided I'll look up all this stuff. And I found that most of the equipment that you find can be found in an Army Surplus store. Got my flight suit. And then years later, I joined up with uh, one of our uh, groups, the Houston area Ghostbusters, and just formed a group with that. And we found the Dallas Fort Worth Ghostbusters, and we just kind of created this big group now. And it's been very, very fun. Yeah, man. Um, that's the thing about Ghostbusters, though, man. It's part of our. It's a staple in our history. It's more than just a movie. It's it's part of our life. Like, you know, Ghostbusters perhaps one of the greatest movies of all time. One of the greatest franchises. I know I was excited when it got re-released in theaters. I'm hoping part two comes out. I mean, did y'all check out the movie when it got re-released? Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, we called up some cinemas in the area, Cinemark and AMC, and we got we got together with them and made appearances at different theaters every week that it was, that it was out. So. Sweet. Uh, well, I know like y'all, y'all are probably waiting for, Ghost, like me, y'all are waiting for Ghostbusters 3 to come out. I mean, you know, if they need any extras or any new Ghostbuster recruits, I see two right here. I mean, y'all fit the bill perfect, you Very know, annoying. movie quality costumes, but <laughs> is there anything, anyway, um, other than the Facebook or anything, any upcoming appearances y'all are going to be having that y'all want to tell anybody? Um, not in the immediate future. You can always check us out at HoustonAreaGhostbusters.com or DFWGhostbusters.com. We always have events up on our calendar. Uh, latest thing is just this, uh, Wizard World in Austin. This is one of the bigger cons we love to come to. And we always had fun. Our next big appearance will probably be in Comic Palooza in Houston. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for taking the time to have the interview. Sure, and no y'all's car is pretty sweet. If y'all are going to drive it anytime soon, please give me a ride. <laughs> and thanks, everybody, for checking this out.